Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Interesting, I just heard dismantling, something about dismantling the alarm system. I think that's, I don't think it's an actual alarm system. I feel, I think that what Spirit's saying here, we have it's time to release negativity and we have you are good enough. Um, I feel like this is more about, this card actually came up in the community um, update that I did on Instagram. I think it was like a day or two ago. So for a lot of you, you're going through a cleansing when it comes to the way that you feel about yourself. Um, and I don't know if we have a full moon in Scorpio or Virgo, but you know, it could be, could be significant, but I do think there's definitely a releasing of negativity here. Okay. So a lot of you could be going through something when it comes to like dismantling, maybe it's the way that you think it's your thought pattern, something with that, like alarm, maybe when things go wrong or you, I don't know, something here that I feel you may need to really take your energy inward here at the moment. So if there's something bothering you, if there's something you need to hear at the moment, it is that you are good enough and that you do have value in yourself with whatever you're striving to do or to be here. And you may need to release any negativity that is seeping into your energy or your aura. Um, we'll see what that's about, but it's definitely going to be a time here for you to make sure that you are aware of that. Let's get one more of these. What else do we need to know for the collective right now? What messages spirit do we have? Okay, so only one. Yeah, I'm hearing something about bravery here too. So we have a fiery climax approaches. So let's get a few tarot cards and see what this is about. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Aries actually energy here. We have the King of Wands as well. Somebody could be in Aries. Um, something about bravery. It could even be somebody else that I'm picking up on here too. Somebody needs to be brave or somebody needs to kind of do something. And there's a feeling of having to release any insecurities surrounding that. Let's see. So Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective right now? Anything you want to bring through? What messages? What is the energy in the collective here? That's funny. I just saw um, Spirit's been sending me so many visions lately, but I just saw um, on that show when you turn the wheel, what do you, what do you call it? The wheel? I guess it's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so I thought the Wheel of Fortune was going to come out, but we actually have, wow, the world and the fool. So these are right next to each other here the world i mean this is a new cycle starting and this is an old cycle ending so what's what spirit really wants to communicate here is that the, and I'm, I'm feeling like with that vision i saw too it's about taking a chance okay bravery is what i heard too so i don't know who this is for but i feel like there is definitely a chapter closing we'll confirm what it is exactly it could be a personal thing for some of you it might be that you are just really closing out old chapters negativities uh, you know, when we cycle through the fool to, all the way to the world, we go through every single chapter, we go through every major arcana, you know, to release the, or to learn certain things on our journey. So I feel like what's happening now is that there's a brand new journey starting. If it hasn't come in yet, it will be coming in. And I think what it's requiring of you is to take a leap of faith. It's requiring you to trust in yourself because you've really mastered one whole cycle or one whole journey. Some of you could be going through a Saturn return or there's something about Saturn here. You're completing karmic contracts, karmic lessons, or the collective as a whole, you know, is is completing these lessons here. So I definitely feel like with the fool in reverse um, and this here, you are good enough. You do need to know that you are good enough to take a leap of faith to do whatever it is for you. It could be a job. It could be love. It could just be something that you're passionate about here, or maybe just the, the, the mindset that, that the mindset that you're having about a new beginning in your life, you're, you're being asked to go with it, to take a leap of faith here. And I'm, and I'm, I feel like with that um, Wheel of Fortune too, it's kind of like you may not know what you're getting. For some of you, it could be a gamble or there's something coming up here that's going to be a gamble for you. Um, and so I feel like it's, it's you know, not acting irresponsibly, but it is about doing things that are maybe going to be a gamble of some, some form here. What else do we have for the collective? What are the messages for the collective? 
I'm seeing a mouse here too. Mouse, could be cat and mouse. We have the Empress reverse, we have the Six of Swords reverse, and we have the Magician. That also came through for the um, post I did yesterday. So we have three major, four major Arcana cards here. Yeah, and the Magician comes right after the Fool, so we have a sequential order here. So this is telling me that we have a strong Virgo energy coming through with the Magician here. Um, there's a new start here. There's a new start that's going to require you to take something into your own hands here. And I feel like... Um, so the Empress and the Six of Swords reverse. There could be something definitely with the Six of Swords here that we have not walked away from, we have not healed from. It could be with this here release negativity so this is a reminder too that this is like a completely new chapter and this is the old here so for some of you with this empress reverse it could even be that you have been maybe it's you've been talking badly about yourself or you haven't you've been down on yourself here um it's also not th you know not being abundant not being in situations that bring you abundance and prosperity and happiness here and this entirely new chapter i feel is coming through I want to confirm a little bit more with, um, I'm going to get one more of these Moonology cards. What else do we have for the collective here? Earthworm. Okay, we have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So, yeah, there's definitely a bringing love into the situation here, doing something that's going to bring a different energy here. I'm going to go into this here and see. Actually, I'm going to get a few of these for see if this is connected to love. Or what do we need to know from this deck here? So what do we need to know here, Spirit, please, for the collective? I'm hearing to stop and smell the roses. What do we need to know here for the collective? Yeah, see, we have abundance. You've done the work, abundance now flows to you. So you definitely have abundance coming in here. And this is why I feel it's um, making sure that you are completing this old chapter here, okay? We have interference and we have warning. Don't dismiss the red flags and at the bottom here, we do have intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. So I am kind of getting here um, that for some of you, there could be a situation that's like you have to let go of something else. Okay, with the warning here, don't dismiss the red flags in the world and it's time to release the negativity. Because remember I got that, I, I heard something about an alarm here. So I feel like for some of you, there's something that's telling you to halt or you could be encountering something that's going to give you a red flag. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a relationship or somebody. It could even be just your own energy. Like, you know, if you have a red flag in your own life, like if you do something repeatedly or if you have a negative mindset or something like that that you know is not good for you here, um, then Spirit's reminding you that you need to pay attention to the red flags because they don't want you to bring this into the abundant new start here is what I'm saying. There could be... You know, I don't know if there's other people who are interfering here. If this is a love situation, it might be that there's there's unresolved issues here from the past that somebody is dragging in to this energy. And this is why, you know, the Empress is here too in reverse. Um, What else for the collective here? Let me grab that from the ground. Okay, we have awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. So there definitely is a spiritual transformation happening here. Yeah, see, look at this. We have into the unknown. So you must proceed without knowing what the future holds. Conquer the fear of the unknown. So that's that vision I had too of spinning the wheel. Like for some of you, there's something upcoming here. And I don't know if it's something completely different than your old life or your, or this could even be somebody else. If that resonates with you, you know, take it how it's going to fit here. But all I know is that there's, there's an unknown, um, 
avenue that's opening up here and it's going to require courage it's going to require bravery it's going to require you to proceed without knowing what the future holds and really living in the moment stopping and smelling the roses really being present because i feel like with this bring love and its situation too it is about uh we have aquarius energy so it could also be something a little bit different or unconventional that's coming in here for you um and it's going to require you to, it's going to require you to know that you are good enough for whatever this is you're good enough to step into the unknown some of you also might have a fear of leaving something behind that you are familiar with um especially if there's some form of red flag around this here and um somebody here feels like they need to let that go close out an old chapter because it's not serving here anymore what messages do we have here in love for the collective what messages do we have in love for the collective yeah you definitely have we have self-love here so you must find happiness within yourself before you're able to find it with someone you are enough so we have that exact same word twice you are enough and you are good enough so this is maybe a message for some of you if you're struggling with self-worth right now or there's a situation that's testing you it's it's making you feel less than um because for some i'm getting it could even be that it's your own like process like you're, you're actually causing your own interference or you're self-sabotaging um, but for those of you, there is something that you know you maybe should not be involved with here. Um, we have transformative. This love will be deeply transformative for something new and powerful to emerge. So I feel like you're definitely going through a transformation here in love. We have choices. I want to see what this is about here. What is the world, the interference about for the collective? Can you confirm that? Okay, something feels different about this love and you're not afraid to charge ahead. Hopefully this love will last. All right, so I'm getting a few things here, but I do think that for some of you, there could be a connection that's moving, you know, maybe it's something that's moving very quickly or, or you are moving too quickly. You know, it's something about that, like alarm, like, like holding back or not rushing into something because there could be other things that are maybe a red flag here so you'll know if that's for you because i feel like if that's the case here spirit's conf confirming for you that this is actually a middle like you're in between two worlds you're in between this world and you're in between the new world and you're going through a transformative <clears throat> love or transformative process so you are you know, moving here, we have choices. Two or more will be vying for your attention at once. You'll have to choose which one to pursue. And then we do have parental love. So there's a parent and child role dynamic in this relationship. Learn how to meet your partner as an equal. And at the bottom, we do have here balance. One person is giving too much. So for some of you, I feel like this could even be somebody that you were either involved with in the past or somebody that you're currently involved with. And what I feel it is actually... This is a message, I think, for most of you who are feminines, divine feminines, is that with the Empress here, you could take on a role that's trying to help your partner, or you could even be somebody who tends to get, like, fall into a codependent um, trap because you feel like you need to help this person or you need to overgive. And what I'm getting is that this is a one, well, I wouldn't say one sided, but it, there's a, there's a, um, unequal give and take with something here and i feel like what it has to do with is your sense of self-worth okay or maybe you're, you've met someone recently and they've shown you kind of similar things that other previous connections maybe have shown you or something like that um and what i feel is that it's it's make sure you're not jumping into something or moving too quickly if it feels like it's unequal um and so that you need to release this negativity here and so if that's the case and you're kind of moving into a time of you're you're going to have choices in love you're going to have new situations or new choices coming in for you or you may even have to make a choice right now between someone that you are trying to work things out with or someone that you are trying to work things out with but there are red flags here that you have to pay attention to and to not overgive um, and instead you're being asked to take your energy especially feminine if you're feminine to take your energy inward and to know that you're good enough to take a risk into the unknown which could be leaving someone behind or you know giving up on something 
um, or just taking a step back from that and trusting that there's something maybe better. There's something about having to trust in the moment, trust in, uh, yeah, this just flew out, Ace of Wands here. Like trust in the moment, be in the moment, attract more love by being in the moment here, stopping and smelling the roses, taking a chance. So maybe some of you, if it resonates, you could have been playing it too safe before, or you feel like you only have one option, something like that here. Let's see what else. Yeah, I'm seeing some feminine here that's very available. Yeah, see, we have plenty of fish in the sea and we have available. So I feel like this is you, especially if you are somebody who is single and you just really want, like maybe Spirit's encouraging you to become more available in terms of exploring your options and in, in terms of um, being in the moment here. So what else, what other messages do we have for the collective in love? Yeah, what did I say? Gamble, yes. There's something about taking a gamble. And for some of you, it is someone else, okay? For a small portion of you, what I feel is that if you're dealing with somebody who knows they have to take a gamble towards you, or um, there's like a gamble in this. So if you're dealing with somebody who um, would have to either close out a major chapter in their life or his or her life to come towards you, Spirit's advising the collective as a whole to understand that it's okay to take chances. It's okay to... Um, explore things that maybe you didn't think that you could have had before or that you just whatever it is it's like leaping into the unknown not in a irresponsible way but in a way that is exploring and and taking a gamble here um, to some degree you know it can be too much of course if somebody's acting irresponsibly then that is a red flag in itself you know if somebody's too good to be true or if somebody's painting a picture that feels like it's not um like it's too good to be true there's a there's a there's a fool's gold here then listen to that yeah i do feel like somebody here is very lust bound and i feel like with the cloud nine lust bound and fool's gold again it's like there is maybe a very lustful energy floating here or you have a connection with somebody that's very quickly moving or it is going to move very quickly and i think this is why spirit's saying to maybe not rush into this here but to know that you're good enough for not having a one-sided or unequal connection because we do have your standards and boundaries and we have up and smoke but instead having to trust the journey and to continue to move forward here What else is going on here in love for the collective? Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a realization here. Realization and love line revived. So... I want to confirm this Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, because I feel like something is coming to some truth here. Can you tell me what the Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Love Line Revived is, please? Okay. Yeah, so I feel like some of you, there could be somebody here who you have spent some time apart from recently, or you're coming into truth about this person and yourself being on different pages here. And I think this is going along with this message, you know, this over here. Uh, there could be something about when it comes to lust versus committed relationship that it's like on one end, you're being encouraged to explore things <clears throat> and go into the unknown here. But on the other end, 
it is going to be a gamble, you know, for you to invest in somebody who's not giving the same to you back in return. And so I think moving forward, this is why the main message was for you to feel like you're good enough, you're worthy enough, because there is definitely a, I don't know, I mean, there is somebody here who I feel could appear a certain way with the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool's Gold, but maybe they are only kind of after a lustful type of a connection here. And this is somebody who you've been trying to meet them as an equal, or you, yeah, you, you've been trying to overgive, perhaps, or you've been trying to make it something that it's not, okay? And I feel like this is somebody who, there's going to be a realization coming through very shortly about maybe what you need to do. And it could be a personal realization for you. Like, for example, it could be that you are coming to your own realization that you need to transform your love life. You need to really be able to um, accept only what is best for you. There's something about your standards and your boundaries here. I do think there could be a situation that um, is going to kind of, I guess, go up in smoke here a bit, but I feel like what it's doing is that it's teaching you this lesson. There's this division between trusting something new. So I feel like on one end, there's a gamble to take here. It's kind of like you don't know what you're going to get. You spin the wheel and you don't know what you're going to get here. And this is maybe because you're going to have choices and you're being encouraged to explore other choices, or you need to be careful about gambling um, with somebody who you know is kind of one foot in, one foot out, or on the fence, if that makes sense. You're kind of going to be confronted with a need to make a decision here about an old chapter or you repeating chapters that you've already repeated before, maybe the same types of characters or dating the same types of people. And this is going to be deeply transformative for you to um, begin to allow yourself to, to feel more abundant and to attract more worthy love into your life. And somebody could give you an apology that is going to help you to see the truth or see the true colors about the situation. So I guess it's kind of like at your own risk type of thing is what I'm getting. Like you could have a situation that you need to go at your own risk because there could be, you know, a connection here or there could be something that you... We'll have to discern here. The fool in reverse. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's something blocking forward movement. It has something to do with marriage here. Ten of Pentacles. So what's coming in next? Yeah, so there's this home environment or family changes. This could be a new home or relocation. This may pertain to an upcoming celebration. So there's something surrounding home and family here. And we have soul to soul connection. You're manifesting a soul-to-soul -soul relationship. You're connecting to the soul of another. This could be the balancing of your masculine and feminine energies. What's next here? I just heard Pluto, too. What's next for you? Collective Pluto transformation. We have the Hermit. Yeah, there it is. The Death card. And the Strength in Reverse. Wow. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting that moving forward. There is going to be, with the Hermit, the Virgo energy, lots of Virgo. It could be during Virgo season now that this is going to be happening, and into Scorpio maybe as well. Um, there's definitely a transformation happening, but it's more because we have the transformative love here too. Um, I mean, there's so many major Arcana cards here. So I guess what I'm getting for most of you is that the message here is that 
you've done the work abundance flows to you you need to trust in the path you need to trust in yourself you need to trust in your self-worth you could be going through kind of a bit of self-sabotage here or you need to listen to your intuition about certain things and and ensuring that you are um, not blocking your forward movement by repeating previous patterns or previous uh, situations here you are going to have to make a choice between maybe multiple lovers here or you're dealing with somebody who has to make a choice between multiple lovers and i feel like what what what's going to happen is that there's going to be a deeply um healing process in the next few weeks or so in order to really fine tune and figure out what we want and i feel like it's going to require you know needing to keep healthy boundaries and standards here and to possibly even have to withdraw from situations to 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 recenter to recollaborate here there is going to be a gamble about a connection here something about bravery something about having to go for it and i think this is probably something more about like you may need to What is the bravery about? There, yeah, there's the Wheel of Fortune. King of Swords reversed and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I really feel like things are turning. Things are moving. At the bottom of this deck, too, we do have Fire in My Soul, Inspiration. So... There's some form of inspiration here to have a new beginning. I'm just not sure who you're on different pages with. It could be a completely separate connection for you, or this could be somebody connected to the person that you know you're connected to. They could have to confront the confront some differences or confront some aspects of previous cycles in order to be able to turn this and move forward. But it's basically about jumping like jumping into the unknown, jumping in off the ledge here in a way where you are excited for what's to come and you're excited for the unknown and having confidence and faith in yourself to do that. Maybe having to disconnect from negativity or someone here has to disconnect from negativity um, in order to get on the same page here as you. So let's see what the final advice is for you. What's the advice for you? Yeah, friendship and union. Surrender, exactly. So whatever this is that's opening up, it's going to require surrender because, I mean, the fool, the wheel of fortune, the hermit, the death, the world, I mean, it's a major shift is happening here. So you're going to have to surrender to the flow. You're going to have to surrender into the unknown. I do think for some, there could be a new connection or something coming towards you that is going to be, um, it's going to be either a gamble or it's going to be something different than what you had expected here. Yeah, see, as I, as I did that, we have fate. This is a destined partnership, which I have been picking up on a lot too. So if you haven't met this person yet, you could come into contact with somebody who is going to be very fated to enter your life. It's just that there could be some challenges attached to this here, or you could have to shift how you are giving to this person here, or you need to let go of somebody else that you have been giving too much time and energy into that is only like a fool's gold type of situation. It's false. It's not real. It's a false sense of security. Okay, or your or this person that you're fated to come together with, they have to realize that they have been building on a lot of false sense of securities in their life here. Maybe things that just were more materialistic, or you know, they have to kind of clear these patterns first. Connected to home, connected to family here. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's just confirming we have 
uh, leap of faith, friendship, finances, and addiction. So there's something about a leap of faith. Somebody here has to be brave, take a leap of faith here. It could be this person you're connecting to. There's a friendship. It's going to start maybe slowly into something more. But somebody has some form of tie or addiction or something connected to finances, money, home, family, or this is you and you, you need to kind of clear that before anything else so that you can maybe receive an apology or closure here, get on the same page and move forward. So I'm going to get a song here. Yeah, look at that, Free Falling by Tom Petty. So that's definitely the fool here, the Wheel of Fortune. The, it's like something very freeing is happening. Something very much like we're just allowing ourselves to be free falling. Um, so it's also about this song, to, you know, it is about breaking up or somebody who feels free from a situation. They feel like they've been able to break up um, or let go of a partner or their past so that they can be independent and free. And then we have the, the, the Night We Met by Lord Huron. Yeah, so I had all and then most of you, some and now none of you. Take me back to the night we met. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Haunted by the ghost of you. Take me back to the night we met. Um, yeah, it says here too, take me back what the hell am I supposed to do that I can tell myself not to ride along with you. So there's something about reminiscing on the past here or being too attached to what happened in the past. Um, yeah. Some of you could just be separating from somebody that you've been with for a long time for some of you and maybe what you need to hear is that you are going to be free falling here into something new like at least the changes that are happening in your life require surrender it's okay to take a risk it's okay to be in the moment you don't have to stay stuck into something that you're not happy with here and that you're good enough for that change you're good enough for that here so yeah i think i'm going to leave it there i hope that this could help some of you uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a great weekend and much love and much love and much love.